Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have tried to start this video literally four different times. This is it, okay? <laughs> so for today's video, I will be doing a skincare video. I'm going to share with you my morning and nighttime skincare routine. It has been requested by several of you and specifically from Winnie B LV. She wanted me to show the products that I use and I do use a lot of different products. I don't use the same thing every day, but there are certain products that are tried and true that I have stuck with for quite a long time now. So I'm going to share with you my morning and nighttime routine. Okay, so I just wanted to say that you can never begin taking care of your skin too early. I have always been obsessed with taking care of my skin. But with that being said, I can also say that I have worshiped the sun a lot. And now that I'm older, you know, I do still get out in the sun a lot in the summertime, but I definitely use an SPF when I'm out in the sun. I will use an SPF under my makeup, but I don't allow my face to get tanned anymore. The rest of me, fine, but I don't tan my face anymore. But I just wanna start out with the cleansing, how I cleanse my face before I start to put on my nighttime. We're gonna start out with a nighttime routine because it's already about seven o'clock in the evening and I've had this makeup on all day and it looks really bad. <laughs> <laughs> very smeary and if you notice I have all these little spots on my face like here 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 on the side um, I got Botox today so I'm not going to scrub my face and I never scrub my face anyway that's another thing and I'm very careful around with this area here I always start out I love this stuff you guys the micro cellular cleansing water but i really like this because it really does remove most of your makeup so i like to go in with this and a little round pad okay so we're going to put some of this on i always buy these little rounds at walmart or target one side has a bit of a exfoliation a little bit like a little nubby on one side and the other side is soft i never ever go to sleep with makeup on ever, no matter how tired I am. Now you might think, why are you doing this twice? But I like to get my face as clean as possible and this does purify your pores and when you're finished with this, there's no makeup residue on your face whatsoever. So now I'm ready to use my cleanser. Now let me show you what I do as far as cleanser goes. Now. You don't have to use this kind of cleanser. It's really good. It's a gentle cleanser that I get at my doctor's office. This Elastin line is wonderful, but I have other cleansers that I use, Estee Lauder cleanser as well. But this is just a soft, gentle cleanser. And maybe twice a week, I will add a little bit of this. This is from the Revision line that I get at my doctor's office. And it actually has a little bit of grit to it, a little bit of grit. And it kind of, it's for exfoliation because exfoliation is key. If you want to have glowy, youthful skin and just a really fresh look, I guess, I think that you have to exfoliate and get those dead skin cells off. So yeah, um, I use this maybe twice a week. And then I will just put a little dollop of it in with my cleanser. So I'll use that tonight because I haven't used it. I haven't used it in probably a week. Okay, so this is another cleanser that I really like by Estee Lauder. And it's just perfectly clean. It just, it doesn't really have much of a scent, just a bit of a clean scent. But when I run out of this, I'm gonna get the pomegranate because I had a sample and it was wonderful. But I use this usually in the shower and I keep this by my sink. So we're gonna use, we're gonna use this today and cleanse our face. Okay, so at first I'm going to just dampen my face and I have this cleanser and I mixed a little bit of this inside of it, just a little bit of it. I've had it for over a year and I still have quite a bit of it. So put some of this finishing touch in with my cleanser. I just mix it together. And don't press hard because the little, um, you can feel that grit, it's doing the job for you. There are two different kinds of exfoliation. 
kind of a manual exfoliation, which I guess this is. But then there's also, you can exfoliate with certain types of acids. But never, I never apply very much pressure. I'm gonna rinse my face. I always use cold water. It just feels so good. Okay. And you'll usually have to rinse a little bit more when you're using this gritty finishing touch or anything with grit. You can get cleansers with grit, but I would not recommend doing that every night. I would recommend if you have a cleanser, you don't have to have something extra, but if you have a soft cleanser and then you have a cleanser with some grit in it, I would recommend only using that twice a week. Next step. Okay, so now that our uh, skin is really clean, now I have put this in my description box before, and it's called Paula's Choice Exfoliate. You guys, this is fantastic. I can't be without it. So I only use it once or twice a week. It's salicylic, salicylic acid, <laughs> or you say that. But uh, it's for all skin types. And I usually pick it up online at Nordstrom and it unclogs and shrinks enlarged pores, soothes, evens skin tone, and it's a lightweight liquid and it, it really, this is great stuff, you guys. It's not real pricey and it lasts forever. I mean, my bottle still feels full and I've been using it forever. But anyway, I use this once or twice a week. I would say probably about once a week. I use this, so I haven't used it in a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and I have my little round again. And I usually use the soft side and put a couple drops on there. This is great. Just kind of all over the pad. And just go in very lightly. This is an exfoliant, but it's a liquid, so it's an acid. Good stuff, you guys. Some of these products I won't be able to list below because like uh, some of it, like the Revision and the Elastin, you would get at your doctor's office. But a lot of the stuff I use is Estee Lauder, Oil of Olay, Regenerist, a lot of products that I just get at Walmart or Target. They're not really pricey but they're really good. Okay, so see, nothing came off. My face is really clean. So after I put this on, I usually just leave it on for about 15 minutes before I go any further. So I'll be back in about 15 minutes. All right, so it's about 15 minutes later and I just let the exfoliant just do its thing. And I use some kind of a retinol serum um, a couple times a week. I usually really use this stuff. If you read the directions, I don't use it as much as it says to use it because I use several different products. So I get a couple different types of retinol. Um, these I get from my doctor's office. This is by Elastin. It's 0.5. And this is Revision, and this is Retinol Complete, and this is 1.0. So I use these two or three times a week. Now these are quite pricey, so um, there's so many other options out there. I also get this from Amazon. It's a Retinol Serum, the Tree of Life. And I will list this below, you guys. You can get it like a subscription, 
or you can just order it a one-time thing and try it out. So this is kind of the trifecta. Let me turn it around. The trifecta. So this is the hyaluronic acid and it's a serum. So I love this stuff that I get from Amazon. And then this is the vitamin C syrup. You guys, I'm obsessed with vitamin C. And then this is the retinol serum. So really these products from Amazon are spectacular and I've ordered them probably three times over. So I can tell when something's doing something for my skin. So these, I do highly recommend these and you can read the reviews on them. I'll link them below. So the key is when I'm using multiple products, I will let them kind of soak in my skin. I'll go, you know, do something in the kitchen, come back. So I'm going to put on a retinol tonight. So I usually alternate the hyaluronic acid or the retinol. I'll like alternate. But all of these products I think are just a must for good skincare. But we'll do the retinol serum. So I just put it on the palm of my hand like that and then just rub it in my face. You don't have to buy the pricey stuff. I do buy it sometimes when I'm at my doctor's office, but I use a lot of this more affordable stuff as well. The key is using a retinol serum, using vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. Gosh, I wish I could say that. Okay, so it feels so good, so hydrating, very hydrating. So I think the thing is, with the ones from Walmart and the products you get from Walmart, of course it's not medical grade. Um, and that's why I kind of alternate because the other stuff is pricey. I find you have to use a little more of the, the cheaper stuff, but it's still good, okay? So I'm gonna let that sit about five minutes and then I'll come back and put on some vitamin C. So I have several different types of vitamin C. Of course, this that I just showed you from Amazon. Uh, and then this Estee Lauder. I recently found this product. I absolutely love it. I'm always putting these products in my description box and I hope you guys will check some of them out because this is Estee Lauder. It's a rapid brightening treatment. Now, if you look at my skin, this side of my face looks better than this side. This side has some spots on it, like, I don't know, age spots. I like to call them skin, um, sun spots. <laughs> They're spots, whatever. But um, this happened to me this summer. I guess I did get too much sun. So anyway, but I really like this brightening serum. And then this is my tried or true, this revision, and it's a 30%. This is about a hundred, this is about $180 just for this. You can get the 15% for probably half that, but I have lots of other vitamin C's that I use. Like I said, this, oops, this by Estee Lauder. And This is a vitamin C moisturizing day cream. And I picked this up at, I believe I, I, I believe I got this at TJ Maxx. And this was a good one. Sometimes I find products I don't love, but this is a good one. And if I can find it, I will link it. Everything I can find. But anyway, I highly recommend this. So we're gonna put this on now. So I just pump a couple of little pumps on here. And just go all over my face. Don't forget your neck and decollete. Okay, that's really all I do at night, but I do use a moisturizer at night, but I usually wait till right before I go to bed for some reason, I just like to, Put all this on and my face feels so good right now it feels so clean and fresh and I just kind of let it all absorb and 
Here's another night cream. I'm always putting this in my description box, you guys. I cannot live without this. This is good stuff. I have multiples. I have multiples. <laughs> I love this stuff so much. So I probably won't use this tonight, but I might put it on and then the moisturizer. But anyway, I'm good to go right now for my nighttime routine, except the moisturizer. And I have been using, well, I've been using, oh, wait a minute. I've been using this Estee Lauder Nightwear Plus. And I also have, where is it? So I've been using this. I really like it. Now, it does have a little bit of a smell to it. Just a clean, maybe a cucumbery smell. I don't know. It's just a really clean smell. So this is the night, and this is the day wear with it has a it has an SPF of 15. So I use lots of different creams for day wear. Um, and I absolutely love this Revita Lift. And it has sunscreen, SPF 25. And this is by L'Oreal. I, I love this. I'm almost out of it. So I'm about to buy a new one. I love this. I use this a lot. It has an SPF of 20. So I think the L'Oreal's and the, S and the Oil of Olay Regenerist, those are great products. As a matter of fact, I'm out of my Oil of Olay. So I don't use just one item or I don't, so I don't just use one kind of moisturizer. There are different, many different ones that I like to try. So I'm gonna go ahead, I guess I'll go ahead for the sake of the video and put some of this night cream on and I like the smell of it. It's very subtle, but it does have a smell. Now, if you don't like a smell, but it's a clean smell. Now, for my neck and jawline, which as you age, you do start seeing a problem here, and I'm starting to see that, you guys, and I don't like it. So I'm probably gonna have microneedling done specific, specifically in this area. Now last time she concentrated on my face a little bit through here, but I'm really gonna go in hard with that at some point. But I do use this Oil of, o Oil of Olay Regener Regenerist. Oh, I use this Oil of Olay Regenerist Micro Sculpting Cream and I use it, it said use it on your jawline. I'm gonna be honest, I can't really tell if it helps. I just started using it <laughs> but I like to think it does but um, I do that and I use an eye cream not religiously and I have lots of different eye creams this is a brightening vitamin C eye cream that I got Marie Claire I, I got it at TJ Maxx but the eye cream that I love the most is of course this Estee Lauder and I always buy these little trio kits but I do have kind of these deep it's not puffy it's like circles so yeah I really like this eye cream I don't really have a problem with puffiness I just look kind of sunken in there you guys it sucks <laughs> okay but anyway that feels good there's no smell to it I'm going to list the products that I use and like I said I just want to say that Good skin care is the best thing you can do for your face. Now, um, before I move ahead, like usually in the mornings, I usually use this. I'll put this vitamin C, any kind of vitamin C, or this, Estee Lauder, under my makeup. I put this on first, I go have my coffee, then I come back later and put on my day cream with an SPF before I put on my makeup. So always use a vitamin C on your skin, morning and night that is one of my big tips that's i feel like i feel like it works you guys because i can tell i can tell a difference since i started using the vitamin c i'm just all about vitamin c and when i did my micro needling and i asked michelle what is her big skincare tip she said you know an spf and a good moisturizer 
And yeah, you should moisturize your skin to keep it soft and supple, but vitamin C, um, I think is great. And I also have these, it's vitamin E. I picked this up at Walmart and they're these big horse pills. <laughs> and I just cut them open with scissors. I haven't used this in a while, but these are good. It's really good. It's that vitamin E gel that you just can put on your face. I probably should do that for this area here. That's my problem right here, that problem. But yeah, um, these little spots on my face is where the needles hit me. And so I got, um, I got the Botox and then he hit me here and here with some Botox and it doesn't plump your lips. It just kind of flips it up just a little and it takes about, I don't know, five days it doesn't, it's so subtle that probably nobody would notice but me. But I've always had full lips, but when you start getting older, you know, everything goes to hell in a handbasket. I mean, <laughs> let's just be frank, okay? But I just kind of like my lips to kind of turn up a little. So he popped a little Botox here and here, and uh, we'll see how that works out for me. It might seem like I do a lot to my skin, but I really don't because I don't use all this stuff every day. I think that's all I can think to tell you guys. Just keep your skin hydrated, moisturized, protect your face from the sun. But I'm not by any means any kind of a skincare expert. I just know what works for me and, uh, and I can honestly say it works. So just take care of your skin, you guys, and I will see you guys on another day. Bye-bye. Peace.